those? Uh, they're not real. Total props. So what's the myth? Well, these are part of our next myth, which is a Hollywood myth. Picture a group of intrepid heroes fighting evil adversaries when into their midst flies a live grenade. Guess what happens next? Well, I would say no doubt the hero actor jumps on a grenade, thus protecting the rest of the people. Exactly right. That's the myth we want to test. Will jumping on a grenade actually save those around? Oh. We are going to detonate one of our grenades without anything inhibiting it. We're going to see what it does to our figures standing around it. Then we'll have a baseline comparison of damage to compare all the other subsequent tests to. Two, one. Oh. <laughs> That was pretty solid. That, that was, was a nice, like, macho funk. That really was. Whoa. And speaking of macho, the action actors look like they just shrugged off a grenade blast. But a closer look at the guy at five feet reveals the frightening truth. The telling part is look at the backside. Wow. Little tiny fragments going all the way through the plywood. Yep, the fake blood department would have its hands full. But how about wooden actor number two? Well, he was 10 feet away, and his part in this movie is over. Right through the lung or the heart or something. And the body count for this scene continues to rise when they examine extra number three. Jamie, check it out, man. Same thing on number three. Yep. One there, one there, one there. Down there, down there. Up there. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> This is our hero right here, and uh, it should provide a fantastic testing medium to show what kind of resistance the body will provide to the fragmentation from a grenade and how much it'll protect your body standing around you. Our leading man is laid on the grenade, his body and the myth on the line. If his three supporting actors survive, this tall tale will be confirmed. Three, two, one. That was brutal. Well, one thing's for sure. There'll be no happy ending for this celluloid savior. He did not have a good day. Uh -oh. He was a hero. Yep, our hero's role has been cut short. But did his selfless act save the cast of cutouts? There's a significant chunk out of the front here. But out of the back, I see one, two, three, Four. Yeah, just four. That's it. So wooden actor number one took 10 fewer hits than the control blast. But how bad were the splinters? This injury right here is very telling because what it, uh, what it shows us is that while it looks like a lot here, we look around on the backside and there's not a mark. In the previous test, without anything over the, the grenade at all, if we saw a hole in the front, we all saw a hole in the back. So it's clearly slowing down the velocity of the uh, projectiles coming off of the grenade. And the guy at 10 feet? Well, heck, look at that. I don't see a single one. This looks like he might have really saved his buddies here. There's no doubt about it. This movie myth is looking confirmed. Well, there you go. There you go. I, uh, I'm pretty amazed. I, I, I wasn't yeah. expecting to see such a definitive result. Of the eight figures we had standing around here, when our hero jumped on the grenade, only his buddy who was five feet away, buddy number one, sustained any real damage. And most of that was to his legs. Buddies number two and three are effectively unscathed.